Hi everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Tandy Writes. So I'm selling up today because my bookshelf has way too much random stuff in it and I don't want to clean it off for this video. A while ago on my blog, uh, link in description, I made a post about how you can help authors. Because that was a while ago, on a blog post, and today someone reminded me of why helping independent authors is so important. So today I'm going to make it a video. So number one is to help authors by buying the book, if it's for yourself, for your friends, for your family. It seems like a really obvious point, but that is like one of the most important things you can do. Even if the, like, the book's been discounted, even if it's like every now and then I do a free ebook promotion for my book. Like anything, as long as you have the book. Buying the book is important because the ranking of the book, like when you see like New York number one bestseller, all of that's determined by sales. And the ranking Amazon, like if you go on the book listings, how high it depends on sales. And also sales are, you know, the source of some author's income. Like there are some people who they write books for a living, that's the only way they make money. So it's really important for their income to like keep coming in, so buy the book. But I'd also like to mention that if it is a free book promotion a free ebook promotion, you do not make money. And I knew that going into it, but I regret it. Does that make me sound like really desperate for money? Because I am, because I'm a college student. So number two is reviews. And reviews are like the most important thing you can do besides buying the book. And the first 10 to 20 reviews are what really sets the book on its path. Having a review lets you know that the book is being talked about and that it's worth being talked about, so therefore it's worth being read. Number three is promote it on social media and a few months ago on my Instagram a couple of people who bought my book like sent me like selfies with the book and I made a little collage and I posted it and that was like really nice how, like having that interaction having people like say like I bought your book here is me with it that also sounds really strange so like, if an author like mentions their book on social media like it retweet it whatever you do share that news with your followers Add a little comment saying, hi, I love it. And that also sounds so strange. This video is a bit of a mess, but it's got good intentions. But basically, social media is the way that so many people in this world connect. So if you like spread a little book love on there, it will spread everywhere. <laughs> but this is number four. I'm going to read a lot of this one off my iPod because I have no memory of writing it. But it must be important. So number four is follow the people on Amazon and Goodreads. Then like, if you follow them on Amazon you can get alerts whenever something new is done, new books posted, and Goodreads lets you like interact further with the author like, <coughs> excuse me, you can ask questions and they get answered, you can interact, I know a lot of authors have their blogs on there and you can view that, you can comment on it. <sighs> and it gives you so many other recommendations like if you enjoyed their book it'll give you recommendations for books similar than that so you can have all the books and also the best thing about goodreads is giveaways i know when my book it was not my it was like three months after my book came out because i'm very bad at promo i listed a giveaway on goodreads and it had 1300 people enter and about half of those like added my book to their bookshelf like their to read list and that is very overwhelming but it also knows that people care because i know you don't have to add it to your list you can untick that little box but a few hundred people you know add it to their list a thousand or something people actually wanted my book and that made me feel very special i have very dry lips also, I'm not sure if this is a fire hazard, because it's the kind of thing you're meant to hang over an exposed bulb. But I've just stuffed it with fairy lights, because I do not have an exposed bulb. Number five is feature this author, this book, like in your blog, podcast, newsletter. Like, I know there are people who blog book reviews, there's people who have monthly newsletters with like book recommendations. And all publicity is good publicity. And authors would definitely appreciate like all the help they can get because I know from experience that publicity and promotion is very expensive. And number six is one I haven't personally tried myself because this one is like 
ask for the book to be stocked at your library or local bookstore. I know there's another self-published author like me who has her book published in her local bookstore, which is very cool. But I'm the kind of person that I don't want to walk into a building and be like, hi, I wrote a book, can you like sell it? But I also really want to see my book on my shelf, not on my shelf, on the shelf. I already have three copies of my book on my shelf. <sighs> As I said, this video is a mess. Offline visibility is really difficult for especially new authors as a lot of the bookstores, I know my local one, there's less and less books in it each time you go in because it's been taken over by other things. So that means that there's less space for as many books possible and it's making just like the bestsellers. So yeah, offline visibility is very difficult. So if your favourite author has a new book, like swing by your local library and quest it, get it in there because many book fairs are born in libraries. I used to love libraries so much when I was little, but I started hating giving the books back so much that I tr tried to start my own library. So thank you for watching this video. I apologise that it's a bit messy. We're in a new location. The lighting's probably terrible. I did lots of reading, but thank you for watching. That really means the world to me. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.